6 a.m. I'm downstairs making coffee, but I put water in my bladder and froze it flat. So my water today will be extra cold. Hope y'all are ready for this adventure. I'm gonna get ready and get in the car and let's get to it. All right, good morning. I haven't braided my hair yet, but we are at the top of the ledges. So we're at the top of Whip's ledges. It is like super foggy out, kind of spooky. I'm going to get my shoes on and let's get to it. Alright, we're all situated. We are on the trail we started at top of the ledges picnic area, which if you've been following my videos, you can go back and watch the section. I'll put it right here where I go up to that point. Um, it's a fun little section, it goes through whips ledges. But today we are doing another little section. Um, I started out in the woods, which was really cool. It's really foggy and it rained a bunch last night. Um, so it is a little muddy. I'm currently walking through grass. I'm like walking around this field. Um, so my shoes are starting to get a little muddy, a little wet. I didn't put my gaiters on just because I truly had no idea what this section is about. Um, it seems very nice and naturey right now, but I do think that there is some road walk. It's kind of hard to tell, but uh, I decided today that we will just get into whatever we get into. Um, today we're just straight up hiking, so we will uh, see where the where the trail takes us today. So this section is really rocky. I technically think we might be on a bridal trail. I'm not super sure, but very rocky. All right, so we just came out of the woods right there. This is the Hinkley Reservation Management Area. We are on a road and I literally feel like I'm in like zombie apocalypse <laughs> because it's so foggy. I'm walking on the road. All I hear is like bugs. I also was really scared for a second when I was walking through the woods because I could smell a skunk and I've never encountered a skunk on a hike, so I'm glad that didn't happen today. So this is cool. This is Western Reserve Land Conservancy. So apparently all this is public land. That's probably why I can walk through here. But like, oh, this looks so crazy to me. Old barn. Random. Oh goodness. Why can't I think of the words? Anchor. That's weird. All right, I literally can't make this up. The name of the section is gonna be Zombie Apocalypse. Do you see all these scary birds? I don't even know what those are. Vultures, hawks, something. I'm scared they're gonna like all take flight when I get over there. Hmm. Ooh, one has his wings all spread out. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I'm gonna leave this on so if I die, you all know what happened. Oh my God, more of them are opening their wings. Oh, stop it. Look at this. This is what nightmares are made of. All right, birds, I'm just gonna walk past you. So there's lots of cool stuff around here. Nature research area. I think we continue going this direction though. You'll have to check my maps. This also says that we are crossing into Richfield Township, I believe that says. So I turned onto Carriage Trail because there was a blue blaze right by the sign. And I assumed the blue blaze meant that I should turn this way. I was mistaken. <laughs> and I also got a big bug bite now. But uh, yeah, 
was not supposed to do any of this section that I just did. So I'm walking back to the road. <sighs> I don't know how people did this trail before far out app. Like they had to physically read and carry all their maps with them. Like, see, this is super confusing. There's blazes right there. So I'm just walking down the road and I'm super confused. There's just this like house. It doesn't even look like the house property it's on. And all the windows are broken, which is super sad. But I mean, random. Walking past this farm. They got turkeys and chickens. Super cute. Buckland Forest Farm. Hi, turkeys. They're not thrilled with me. So this is fun. I don't walk past very many horses. But, hello. So apparently this is a horse boarding place and this one <laughs> has a little jacket that makes him look like a zebra that this other guy just did in front of. But there's like tons of horses everywhere. So this section's kind of fun. It's really pretty. Pretty skies. Um, down here, like on this other side of this fence, there's more horses. Wow, this is weird. They have all these things set up in their front yard. Interesting. All right, this is my ending point for the day. Luckily, when I ended before, I ended like over here on this trail because um, I'm connecting two, second, two sections that I've done before. This is the St. Bernard Golf Club, but hypothetically, I think I'm supposed to go through here if I was like continuing on, but as you can tell, this is locked. Um, multiple locks and a bike lock, so if I was to carry on, I'm not sure what I would do. This is the Richfield Nature Preserve. So I guess I would just keep walking. And this is the busiest road section I've ever been on. It's Highway 303. The speed limit's 45, but people are flying. So I'm going to get turned around, get back on a slower road and eat my bagel. All right, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear anything that I recorded a second ago. So that is 303. I'm at this like little <laughs> jetted out area. There's actually some water and stuff down there. I just wanted to sit for a hot second, take a breather, resituate my bag, get my bagel. Um, so I finished the section. So I made it from the starting point all the way to the ending point. I connected two sections I had done. Um, it ended up being about four miles. I ended at a golf course and I thought I was going to be able to like use one of their benches to just like sit for a second. Um, they had all these signs like private property members only, so I couldn't do that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to sit here for a moment, get myself together and uh, head on back. I'm walking back by these horsies. Apparently they want to say hi. Hi babies. Hello. Hi. Hello. You're awful pretty. Signs too funny. Don't cross this field unless you can do it in 5.9 seconds. The bull can do it in six seconds flat. <laughs> Kudos to you. That's funny. All right, so we made it back to my car. It's about 11 o'clock. I started at a little bit before 7.30, just because when I got here, I kind of goofed off for a little bit. Um, it was a very good hike. There was a lot of road walking today, um, but it was intermixed with like trail and some of the road walking was very, um, wasn't on busy roads. So I really didn't mind it. It was a very good section. I'm very excited that I was able to connect more places. It feels good. Like seeing a continuous line. Um, I also took last week off. I didn't do any hiking just cause it was the holiday and you know, I was, traveling and doing stuff. Um, so I don't think I've hiked over, you know, the most I hiked was two and a half miles last week. So to be able to come out here and do eight miles and, you know, a little over two and a half hours, like not too bad. 
Um, so that's four new miles, eight miles in total. But uh, I'm very excited and glad you guys came along and uh, happy hiking.